How's the music? Hey, hey, Damon, what's up, dude? How are you? I'm great, Kurt. I'm just excited that we're going live today. From I, the- you know, I'm not in my basement today. Did you notice anything different about the backgrounds? They look a little bit different. Yeah, a little just, different. Just, and then you don't and then, usually and then, have someone hey, standing I, and behind I got, you. I got young Damon with me. I got, got someone beside you. I got the young version of Damon here. So <laughs> I brought. I got Roadshow Damon. So since you're there stuck in Seattle, dude. I, all right, we're at the Industrial Marketing Summit. And we're hanging out down in Austin, Texas. Eddie Saunders Jr., what's up, brother? Hey, it is a great day to have a great day. Much better weather in here than it is just, Ohio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, yeah. just, just a lightly yeah, sun shining. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, bit, yeah. all right, we're gonna. We, there's a ton going on here. There's like, there's, it's all industrial rock stars here. So let's start with the host of the party. Hey, Joe Sullivan. How about hey Wendy? Why don't you, let's let's get these guys over here. So we got Joe Sullivan <laughs> All from right. 76, man. What's up, Damon? Going to party. So we got Damon. Yeah. We've got Wendy Covey from True Focus. Hey. Hey. What's How up, everybody? All right. Joe, what's going on? How like talk to me, like fun. industrial marketing yeah. summit? Like who pulled this thing off? Yeah, it was uh, mostly uh Wendy, right? No, 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 no. This, this no. is a this is a this is an awesome group effort. I mean, it was like Remember me and Adam, come here, Adam. Come here, Adam. Uh, me and Adam were like walking back from the event at Content Marketing World last year, and we're like, that was really good, but there was like two hours of content total, and we could do this on our own. And let's talk to Wendy. And then like the three of us started chatting, and we just we ran with it. Yeah. You know, a little over a year, I guess, since then. But um, but yeah, it's been amazing so far. It's just so many faces that we all recognize and people we know we've met digitally, but like never been in a room with before and at least that's been my experience right. with it so it's been, been really cool right so all right so joe sullivan gorilla 76 wendy i know in your background you threw a party or two like once or twice in your previous yeah. life right i right. did How many? well i used to plan 70 trade shows a year a national year. 70 <laughs> 70 <laughs> trade shows a year and i had a conference for five thousand. so we have wow. nothing but growth available to us here we right. can handle this we got right. this right uh so i told these guys Let's have this at Austin. Austin is so cool. Everybody loves to be here. Right. The weather is going to be amazing. Right. I just called it, yeah. and it she happened. Guaranteed it doesn't matter. Guaranteed it. Right. You also live here. So it's gonna be that, that's, yeah, yeah. It's a ho- we got a home game. It's a home game here for Wendy Coffee. So right. Wendy, just uh, expectations. I know, like, so we got together in Cleveland and had a wonderful show. Just give everybody a little insight. Like, how are you guys? And Adam, I mean, you're, you're going to dig into this too. Talk a little bit. Like, how did you guys separate this? And just like you ran with your running herd going solo on this. Talk to us about how you guys launched this. Yeah. So you're looking at a collaboration between our three companies. We all pulled in a couple of key staffers and have this core of it committee to put it together. Right. And one of the first things we did after choosing a location is say, what are the burning topics that people want to hear about? Right. Who should be the speakers? What should we talk about? Let's cover a lot of ground, but what specific to industrial marketers do right. we need to focus on this week? Right. Well, man, and Damon, the speakers have been just absolutely phenomenal. Adam awesome. Kadena's Part Solutions. Talk about talk to us about like how your progression. You've been part of the Industrial Marketing Summit for years. Yeah. What's this mean to you of like you guys taking this thing solo? It's I mean, it's huge. I mean, we're trying to plant the flag that industrial marketing is its own thing. It's a real discipline. It's it's unique and that everyone here is behind it. It's really exciting seeing everybody like, you know, they all identify as this and we're and we're ready to go. Well, I, I absolutely yeah. love it. it's been phenomenal last thing i want to ask you talk your team just gave a great presentation so again gorilla 76 they just showed a great case study talk a little bit about <clears throat> how your team just is you know you talked this morning how'd you get out of everything today yeah i know i didn't have to do the hard work <laughs> i recruited my team to go do wow. that work. but um yeah so uh, grace wright our strategy director and uh, aaron verse new strategist they came up here and essentially took uh the took the audience through what they did right. uh, in the first 90 days working with a new client to essentially you know grow leads by 175 195 percent or whatever it was right. and just kind of gave the playbook um so it was very very tactical it's not it's something that like if you're brand new to marketing probably would have been a little tough to grasp for others i think it was what you needed to kind of help get to the next level and right. kind of how to get started but yeah it was well, very powerful session. Tons of questions. People were just nice. enamored of what these guys just so great work. Kudos to you guys, what you're doing at Gorilla 76. Your team at True have been all over the place. I know Morgan speaking, I think, next, right? Yes, you just you, you did your research project this morning. I right? did our research launch today. I'm Congratulations. So, excited. Right. so it's the 2024 State of Marketing to Engineers. Yep. And new this year, we asked about AI. Yep. So that's some pretty fun stuff. So you can go download it on our website or Global Specs. 
Well, congratulations. And I tell you, like, AI is like a hot topic here, man. Like, I've been learning a yeah. a whole different level here for AI. So, guys, congratulations. Thank you for hosting the party. Can't wait to see where this thing goes for year in, year out. So, thank you for all that you're doing. Thanks so, all right, let's start. How about, let's grab Nikki. Let's get Nikki in here. How about Lukey? Thanks, guys. Lukey, you're going to get up here? Yeah. Sammy, you're going to get over here? Hey, hey Nikki. All right. So, hey, we got Great Eddie Saunders. It. Like, dude, I, my heart, I don't know if my heart can take this. So, uh, yeah. Where's Jordan? It, You've got most of the panel. You got the, oh, yeah, you got the yeah, glycerin. Got Sammy Birch is in the house. So, uh, all right, let's start here. So, Sammy, how excited are you about this program? I know you guys are speaking like, what, in like 10 minutes, an hour? The they're, the clo- they're, they're the closers today. The closers. Right? All right. So, let's all right. Right. Nikki, let's start with you. What are you guys talking about today? We're talking about the power of personal branding a little bit later today. So I think maybe if any of you know any of us, you know why maybe that's what we're here talking about. But I'm not a marketer, um, but I'm learning a ton of stuff here to help uh, that I can hopefully pass on to a lot of my distributor partners, um, some of our customers, that sort of thing. So I am just have been absorbing all day. Uh, The content's been amazing. What's been like a highlight? I would say probably the AI session because yeah. we've all been playing around and using tools and there were, you know, a couple things in there that I think I can really put to use right away right. to be more efficient with my use of, you know, chat GPT and things like right. that. Um, and how to, I mean, it's hard to navigate. I, I don't like AI content, but I do like being more efficient. So right. figuring out how people are really putting it to use right. without trying to have it do the work for them. Right. I thought that was session was probably really valuable for me. Well, and a, a gentleman this morning said, a SEO expert out of Boston said his team, they've determined is 30% more efficient by using AI compared to not using AI. So it's yeah. just absolutely incredible. Here, you're, you're, you're out of the picture. Let's get over here. <laughs> Luke, you, come on. Get, why don't you get, oh, are you in a photo? All right. Let's, yeah, we're all here. here let's sneak, let's sneak, sneak up here. Let's talk about, uh, you went live last night. I did. Which, let's talk about the industrial marketing summit to you. What were you guys talking about last night? Yeah. So last night was really kind of a preview to the industrial marketing summit. We did a live podcast nice. over at Cedar Door where we had the official kickoff party here. And nice. it was a look at what is going to be big in marketing in 2024. What are you excited about? What could people, what are opportunities people could be taking more advantage of in 2024? But also, nice. hey, where do you think marketing is going to go in two to three years as well? So we had folks looking inside the crystal ball to tell us their thoughts on what might be next, or more importantly, what to focus on now so you're still relevant two or three years down the line. And we and we had a wonderful session with Chris last week. So talk a little bit. You guys are talking about an hour. What's what are you talking about at, at the session? Yeah. So the session, uh, Nikki said it. It's going to be very focused on personal brands. I'm really excited about it because it's a mix of how can personal brands and company brands better synergize. And that's a two way street, right? It's you know what can folks that maybe have an established personal brand today do better to collaborate with their companies and what can companies do to elevate the voices of the people within their organizations we have heard a lot about humanizing your brand here at today's event i think we're really going to continue and add some additional insight to those conversations during the panel discussion because we actually we have we have a fantastic group we've got nikki we've got eddie we've got jordan yates she'll be up there with us as well it's going to be very strong my only concern is that we've only got 45 minutes and we probably <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Prob- yeah. probably have yeah. a much longer period yeah. of time that we yeah. could talk on these topics, which is why it's great that the closing event is afterwards where we can basically have a three hour long Q&A over. Beverage there you go. Tonight yeah. in manufacturing happy hour fashion. That's so. right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Who went? Well, go ahead, Damon. Well, I've got to say, Chris, your accommodations while you're there in Austin, I sure did enjoy those. That looks like a great place to be working from. So for context, for anyone that's watching the stream right now, I'm staying inside a converted Spartan trailer from the city that has been turned into a (laughs) tiny. So cool. And it's the second time I've stayed at this Airbnb. I stayed there like a year and like two and a half years ago. And when I knew I was coming back here, I'm like, I wonder, wonder where I'm going to stay. Surely you can stay at the conference hotel and things like that. But I looked it up and I'm like, it was available on those dates. And it just happened to be right down the street from where this event is taking place. So I couldn't pass up on the opportunity to go back to what is assuredly my favorite Airbnb in the whole world. That's awesome. 
And that's, that's awesome. a statement from a guy who, how many countries did you tell me the other day? 30? 35. He's been to 35 countries, avid traveler. So, Chris, thank you for everything you're doing, just being a huge advocate for American manufacturing. Come on, dude. Let's. And, well, hey, and thank you um, for, like, creating this extra live <laughs> element to the event, right? If it weren't for Kurt setting up his microphone right by the yeah. main stage. And it's very you know, some of this wouldn't be broadcasted to the rest of the world right now. So thank you, Kurt, for doing this. Absolutely. And, you know, of course, Damon, like I have like my little camera. It's about where's oh, yeah. about this big guy just comes up with like this, you know, $10,000 camera next to me. And I was like, everybody's got to show me up. The guy sitting in the back has like this massive hair bun. And like he's walking around like, you know, like making me feel bad about myself. I'm just kidding. Yeah. So I'm, you, yeah. you might have to come up here in a bit. All right. Yeah. So, Eddie, let's get, scoot up here. Eddie, let's talk. What are you, you going to be talking about here? In a, like you're talking in an hour. What are you talking about in your session? With I, Nikki and Chris and Jordan. For sure. Honestly, I, I think there is a low-key playbook on how you can humanize your brand and leverage it. Because Chris is right. There's a lot of conversations where it's viewed on really two sides of the coin. So I think that we can provide what everyone else is providing in our own form. And that's just perspective. Um, in all reality and that and kind of reverse engineering how do you do this effectively and avoid some of the mistakes that quite frankly we've made and even continue to make so above all things perspective mm -hmm. perspective mm -hmm. I nice. love it. all right all right guys hey sammy let's get you in here i mean he and mary's up there going next right like <laughs> mary, can you see mary she's like she's yeah, right, over, there, up there, she's right over there like she's presenting like in a few minutes here so like yeah. we're, we're totally messing up her you mind. got like four minutes to go yeah. here so sammy what's the highlight for you for the program yeah um i've i agree with everything that uh nikki and chris said but i also from my perspective uh the thing that really resonated with me is uh even though we're talking about all these ai tools and ways to be more efficient the like resonating messages, you need to talk to your customer and you need to find out what your goal is. And then yeah. you can use these tools to be more efficient, but it's not going to help you if you're not really understanding exactly what your customer wants. And so even uh, I listened to one about the uh, customer experience journey with a, uh, the guy from Rockwell. That was amazing to yeah. think through like this entire ecosystem you can create and all these different touch points on the buyer's journey. And then also uh, MJ Smith's product marketing one. Uh, her number one like first case tactic is like go talk to your customers that's where you have to start every mm -hmm. time and so you can have all these tools but really you need to find out what you're actually like aiming for before you get started so awesome really yeah hey and we had a great lunch didn't we have a good lunch today man we had a fun lunch all right so thank you guys thank you can't wait for your session thank you thank you hey let's get you guys up here so we hey damon are you sitting down for this one dude are you ready you know who's here whitney houston is here there we go and mr miss you can you believe like I'm I'm next to Whitney Houston, man? We're in person awesome. together, man. And what's our what's our song? I will always love you. That's right. So, there you go. Okay. There so we go. got Whitney Houston in the house. So Whitney highlights for the program. What do you what takeaways? Well, I think I got off to a fabulous start with the keynote and just everything that um, Adam, uh, Wendy, and Joe brought up yeah. really set the tone for the rest of the sessions. And I think um, as Sammy was talking about just knowing that you really need to understand your customer yeah and then like in windy session breaking that down with the research that they've done into the industrial buyer and then pairing that with the ai session and how that frees you up to spend more time with your customer um there's just so many great nuggets and all of it really working together so that way you know we can just do a better job having those conversations with our customers that's right how about we got to give a shout out to lori hybe for goodness gracious right so hey big big hi how so lori hybe at keystone click Right. up in milwaukee so whitney's hanging out here dear friend so it's great just you know bring these relationships awesome. in person now speaking of in person how about this handsome devil right here he's hanging out with his son man it's just so cool his son sam was here oh it guys. is so greg miss you is in like dude let's hug it up come on there we go there, group hug all right so greg takeaways from the program today what do you what what do you think uh you know, I'm going to echo everything uh, Sammy said and Whitney said that we're hearing over and over again. And uh, I think it's actually pretty refreshing because there's all this talk about AI. But everybody said, and like Chris Hall said this from Jasper early on, he's like, I'd rather have marketers um, talk to three different, instead of learning three different AI tools, talk to three different customers. And it's like been the consistent theme. And then we went to MJ Smith thing and she talked about when she started her career and how she built her career. She started by just going and talking to eight different customers and built everything off of that. 
So both everybody has said that is the role of the marketer. And so yeah. it's, and I think it, it's also, I mean, just like coming here, meeting you, Kurt, in person, Whitney May, meeting you, when you start to meet all these amazing marketers in person, you start to hear their stories and what they're doing. And then you're going to apply that and learn that and apply that to your own situation. And, and there's a lot of kismet happening here where you're just meeting people the first time. Yeah. And, yeah. and people you've never met before. And you're getting insights you never thought about. And it only happens by coincidence or by chance where you come yeah. into something like this. So, Damon, next year, <laughs> you're right. going to be here. Yeah, that's right, David. <laughs> All right. Slacker. Come we'll hang out with us. I so, know. I know. Right. Slacker. Well, hey, this is absolutely wonderful. Privilege meeting you in person. Wonderful meeting you in person. This has been it is a great program. How about uh, I've got two friends over here that I'm going to grab. How about, Thanks, Kurt. How about See you, Damon? See ya. Have a great rest of your Get up here, guys. Get up here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. I have to get hair right. button up here. All right. Hey, Damon, get over here, Trish. Get up. <laughs> I just wanted to come say hi to Damon. Hi, Damon. Hey, Damon, Hello. we got Trish in the house here. So Trish is good. She's a she's a repeat offender. She's been on the yes, program. She she's coming back. Yes, when you come back, Nate? March. March. She's coming back next All month. Right. So awesome. Share a little bit what you do, man. Oh, I'm <laughs> I'm not here to talk about me, Kurt. What I want to say is I'm here because of you guys. I, I learned about this because you guys always share the best resources. You hear that, people. Joe Sullivan? You, the best resources <laughs> right here. So you keep following these two guys. They well, know everything. Well, so thank you. Right, thank you. Can't wait to have thank you. Very very much. So, hey, we've got my BFF here. We've got my bestie. we got Jacqueline in the house from IMAX, yes. Illinois yeah. MEP. Yes. MEP is represented here, Damon. So. Woo. All right, Jacqueline, takeaways from today? Oh, my God. Too many takeaways from today. The sessions have all been incredible. I feel rejuvenated. I feel connected. Nice. I feel really um, equipped to be able to go back to our Illinois manufacturers with a ton of nuggets and a ton of advice on their growth and marketing strategies. So I'm amped. I'm ready to go. She's pumped. So, yeah, so we're getting we're hanging out. Her her other half is uh, Scott Anderson, so I call I call him cousin Scott. So we're hanging out with Scott and Jacqueline here. So she's just doing an amazing job. What uh, biggest takeaway from today? Like, what, what, I mean, the sessions have just been phenomenal. What, what would you say is your biggest takeaway? Oh man, biggest takeaway: um, do something and do something like now. Yes. Don't wait to start a marketing initiative. Like you got to get the ball rolling and yeah. continue to figure it out from there. Yeah. yeah, it's get just started. It's yeah, just get started. It's been fantastic. So, all right, we're gonna start right. winding down. Yep. Hey, excuse me. Hey, Mary. Mary, you got one second. <laughs> she's going. She's like, Kurt, you're like, you're like the. You're like the you're hey, like do you remember Mary? Man, the we had an awesome yeah. session with yeah. Mary. Like, just like great seeing time, you. Right? Yeah. So you were with the company for how, like like how many years? Which one? When oh, you, when you came into live show, how many years? Time? Yeah, yes, I was um two exact weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, she was at she was at her company for two weeks. She's yep. presenting in like ten minutes. Yeah, she's yeah. on the stage, so you can see the stage right here. Mary, awesome. what are you gonna be talking about in ten minutes? I'm gonna be talking about sales and marketing alignment. Sales Ooh. and marketing. Very important. Who needs that, right? Nobody. Every everybody, yeah, right? Nobody. Right, Everyone. So we, we, let's get a little preview. Yeah, little yeah. I'll give you a little sneak peek. So. Sneak peek is marketing and sales are misaligned for two reasons. Usually it's um, first of all, that marketing and sales operate in silos. And as a result of those silos, marketing is either measured on leads only or activities only. And that's where the misalignment occurs. Right. All right. So we're going to talk through that and how to solve it. Awesome. Um, yes, always. No, you, seriously, always. Dad, yeah. You're like a rock, man. I thought, all right. So I will right, we'll, 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 man. She's like, I mean, I'd be like, you know, I'd be a mess, but she's doing great. So, all right. So Mary's going to be speaking here in a few minutes. Mary, thank you for all. What big takeaway from today, like with all the sessions? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Great sessions. I think the takeaway that I have loved from every session I've gone to is that like there's tangible, actionable takeaways, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like none, there is some high level thinking, yeah. but it's all like stuff I can start applying tomorrow. Yeah. 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 I love That's that. Awesome. So yeah. awesome. I thank awesome. you for all you're doing. Yeah. Good you luck. Gonna, thank you. Thank, you. thank you. Hey, Eddie, come here. We're going to close it out. <laughs> Closing it out with it. We're closing it out. I might have to drag the hair bun guy up here. We're, nah, he's not paying for it. All right. So, all right. <laughs> Is it because you don't have a lot of hair? Is that I, why I, hair so, I, hey, so I've got, I've got Roadshow Damon here. So, all right. Dude, how you want to close it out for uh, your, your yeah, session coming up in an hour? You're going to talk about humanizing your brand. 
takeaway? What are your big takeaways from today? I'll tell you what. Um, in God We Trust, everybody else brings data. And I, 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 I love yeah. industrial yeah. marketing. We're talking real data because it exists. And we're not just relying on feel yeah. goods and impressions. We're talking real data. And I love the buzzwords. I love all the flash. I love it. It's me we're talking about. But data, man, it's become a real factor. And that's my big takeaway for today. Well. Damon, dude, you got to be here next time. So we're going to we're going to close it out. So I'm with my All brother, right. Eddie Saunders, Jr. What's your dad's name again? Eddie Saunders, Sr. <laughs> so a right, little private joke there. So, Damon, just we're coming to you live from the Industrial All Marketing right. Summit, Austin, Texas. So just another great session, just hanging out with just and I tell you, in all seriousness, just the level of passion for U.S. manufacturing, the level of integrity of everybody here, and just like just awesome good people, man. So it's just a, a it's just a privilege and honor to be here, just to be a part of this. And so we're having a blast. Wish you were here, brother. I'll be there Miss next you, year. Bro. So have a great <laughs> have a great rest of the the summit there. So today we were live from the Industrial Marketing Summit in Austin, Texas. Kurt Anderson on site with all the other friends of ours there is awesome. Awesome. Thanks so much for doing it. Great job. Hang on. Hang on one second. I'm going to close us out. So, hey, guys, everybody, God bless you. Have a great day. Great rest of your week. And it, and next year, man, you got you, you got to come to the Industrial Marketing Summit because it is the all the cool kids. I don't know how why I'm here, but all the cool kids are yeah, definitely saying, out I, here. I, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of I'm standing out. It's not good. Yeah. Man, but, all right. We'll close out. Hang on. All right.